This video is about my choice of LED lights and how I light the container. I've tried a number of different permutations and some of them worked and some of them didn't. And here's some of the mistakes I made and some of the solutions that I found. I did some initial experimentation using a 12 volt battery and different lights. The first 12 volt light I tried was a halogen. With a 12 volt halogen, the battery drains in front of your eyes. The lighting is lovely, but it's not cost effective for battery power. My intention is to be able to read easily in any part of the container that I choose. The light fittings are gimbals, which means that I can point them in any direction I choose. There are lots of different LED lights and they can be very different in the way they appear. My first choice was bright lights, thinking that was good. These give a lot of lumens output, which is the amount of light, so I thought more was better. Unfortunately, the ones that give the most output are the cool blue lights. After I sat under the cool blue lights for a period of time, it was really unpleasant, and it's not a nice environment as a home. If you sacrifice some lumens then you can go to a warm light and if you sacrifice even more you can go to a very warm light which is more like candle. I ordered some warm down lights. These were brilliant but they don't actually give a very wide throw and it's a bit like sitting underneath a torch. The minute you move out of the beam there's no light available. I eventually found a very warm light and what it does is it gives off a wide throw and it's actually like sitting in a room with um, a lot of candles. You get a nice warm atmosphere and the, the whole of the room is filled rather than just a directional portion. Each panel has four lights. One is a very warm light with a wide throw that will fill the room. And then I have three architectural lights which are warm spotlights and the gimbals allow you to point them in any direction. And what that means is that I can turn on a panel and I can fill the whole of the container with a very nice light. I made each panel individually switchable so that I could minimize the amount of battery power I was using if I was only working in a small portion of the container. 